Let's let's talk about the aquatic center. Yeah. I think yes, that's, yeah. Uh, when you look at pictures, you're just looking at pictures. It's not. We're not saying this is what you get. It's. I mean, that's obviously up to citizens of Conway to have input on and the council to make a final decision on. Uh, but outdoor complex. This is strictly. I think everybody should have a copy of the feasibility study. This was taken from that feasibility study. <coughs> if you look at the second page after the outdoor, strictly outdoor, Sorry. you can see what the projected expenditures for that type of facility would be, what the revenue projected revenues are, and what the difference is. And that shows making $5,000. Uh, okay. And I would venture to say that once the new run wears off and the equipment starts failing, oh. you're going the opposite direction. Oh. Just to be honest with you, killing me. I'm just. I, killing I got it. I've got another proposal. Yeah, I, I know. And I'm waiting. <laughs> so the second after that, we're showing an indoor. They show an indoor facility. Yay. <laughs> with <laughs> with a. Uh, Kind of like a recreation center attached to it okay mm -hmm. uh, you can program we can program the the indoor of the community center any way we want if we want to say we think we've got enough basketball courts we have a lot of volleyball we can play we can program that to all volleyball courts and pickleball courts and racquetball courts so don't get caught up on the little fine print that says this is this this is that that can all be programmed any way we decide I'm going to throw a monkey wrench in the whole situation here <laughs> calm down it's going to be alright the land we bought off of South German Lane yes sir mm -hmm. when are we going to use that that's, that, yes. that's for this. You, got, mm -hmm. there, you should have one of these there. Okay, and when is this going to happen? <laughs> Pardon me? That's what we're deciding. When is it going up? Whenever you say it to you. <laughs> okay. We can get the citizens to do it. No, what I'm saying is, this, we always talk about getting a swimming facility. Right. And if you had something like that next to a ball field or something like that, it would be dual purposes and dual people. If you could bring somebody there for a, a game and you got other kids, they could actually be paying to do this other thing and keeping them occupied. That's what Bryant does. That's Bryant what I'm has, saying. Yeah, they have their pool right yeah. next to their baseball fields. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and I think it's that's kind of what away. Steve's talking about here with some of the recreational spaces, mm -hmm. which could be basketball, volleyball, pickleball, mm -hmm. whatever. Multi-purpose. Yeah. Pickleball, what is it? Oh, that's, oh, that's a huge thing. Yeah. It's huge. It oh, my gosh. It's competitive. It is. Very competitive. It, it is, is very. That's why I don't know anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I, you learn. Let so me to your we, point, I think there could be. Um, yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yep, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And everybody seems like they, all the cities are trying to one up everybody else to get the draw. Yeah. You know. Well, I, I, I want to bring your attention to. A, there's a lot of floodplain on this property. I know. Mm -hmm. So that's something you'll have to deal with. Yeah. Floodplain. It'd be a good place to put a pool in. <laughs> <laughs> fill it up about once a month. Outdoor pool there. Yeah, put the outdoor pool. Get there. your drainage right. We'd be all right. Uh, what is it? We got a pond. I got a pool. The pond be good for you. <laughs> but you could have playgrounds. Yes. Yeah. Dog park. You could have stuff like that. Yeah. And there's and there's some programming on there that you can see. But I mean, that was just suggestions of possibilities. You know, so how do these small towns have a big aquatic center? I mean, how how are they? How? Some don't and have to pay for surviving? their utilities, mm -hmm. which is a big part of it. Yeah. Uh, some have passed the dedicated tax for the operations of that. Uh, well, some I mean, are in partnerships with schools, where, some which we saw in Edmond. Have them. Yeah. They had two schools yeah. that participated with them in the fund of the operational costs. And I think most of them are just outdoor Seasonal. Yeah, that seasonal. Yeah. Not, you know, because what, what's here are some different versions with having year-round mm -hmm. and indoor things. 
Yeah. I mean, I think we need the indoor outdoor. Well, to help so. pay for it mm-hmm. for I'm, kids I'm, all the time. I don't, so I don't know how long I'm going to be in this world or whatever, but what I'm saying is if we're going to go in and do it, let's do it right. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. If we're thinking about mm-hmm. indoor, That's let's wait yeah. till we can do indoor. Let's don't put something mm-hmm. out there in two years from now and, and <laughs> wish we had to put a, a, a you know better facility out there. I agree. We I like the indoor outdoor with mm-hmm. with some other addition, right. maybe not as much oh, additional too. recreational oh. space. <laughs> but. All right, the next look, real quick, so I because I know you, there's somebody behind me. Uh, the next page. For that second facility, shows expenditures, revenues, the difference. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The next page is the same type of facility with the addition of an outdoor component. Mm-hmm. And then the next page shows you what those expenditures, mm-hmm. revenues, and the difference is. Like. And I like the beachfront entrance, too, for the little bitty ones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, as Mayor said earlier, that's a 2021. Uh, we need to refinance. That would have to be a vote of the people, and we need to refinance the bond in order to gain enough. And this this was a lot of information tonight and a lot Thanks. for you guys to think about. Why don't we uh, schedule another committee meeting uh, four weeks from now? That'll give you guys time to look over this and put your ideas into it. It'll give Steve some more time to uh, maybe get us some uh, yeah, randos. If, if you'll send some questions. Indoor. If you'll send some questions. That yeah, you, you got get questions, shoot them to the mayor too. and I yeah. will we'll get on. We'll, we'll schedule a committee meeting four weeks from now to discuss parks again, if that works for y'all. And these numbers, yes, just sir. so everybody's clear, are these annual operating numbers? Yes, sir. That if, that is? You, that's not the cost. If you want, I will send you. No, that's not the the the, co- the capital just, cost well, to build. I just wanted to make sure everybody was aware of that. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, that's that'll be especially when you get indoor and outdoor. You're you're getting some substantial. That's why we're looking at having to refinance. Thank so. you. That's and I guess you you would do you would do the soccer. Try to do th- those as one bond. There's a possibility that you could do the soccer uh, on a five year note if you chose if to. You want it. Okay. Thanks, Steve. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. I just want to mention real quick while we're talking about the bonds, we refied those in 17, uh, saved us a little over a million dollars in interest over the life. Um, that payment annually this year was about 800000 Next year it ramps up to a million. So, mm-hmm. And it'll be a million dollars a year until it pays off in 2028. So just wanted to throw that out there. Um, and that's for what again? I'm sorry. Making the debt service payments on the A&P bonds. Okay. Thank you. So next year, operation-wise, we'll have about 200000 less available until the bonds are paid off, unless those are refinanced at some point after next year. Thanks, Tyler.